Guten Tag, chess amigos. Welcome back to the grind. Playing as white today. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to play my new favorite opening, the London. Oh, I'm having a lot of fun with this opening. Not going to lie. Uh, maybe I don't play it exactly the way I'm supposed to play it, but uh, I'm still enjoying it either way. So That's all that matters to me. Doki. Hmm. Early e5 with a knight. Early e5 with the knight. That is the question. That is the question. Also attacking the queen. You know? Hmm. I'm not going to win the queen. I'm I'm really tempted to try uh really early ninety five just to push his pawn down, and then just hop back. And sort of weaken this diagonal uh here kind of down the road. Well, I don't know how much that weakens it, but anyways, I'll I'll play it safe for now. I'm trying to get better about just developing all the pieces and then going in for attacks. Uh, maybe how about once I get uh, some other pieces out, I can go for the early 95. That is interesting. Um, I believe the play here is c3, getting the queen out. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just getting the bishop out early here it's more important i'm trying to think back to what the engine recommends in this position and for some reason i keep thinking that it's C4. That's just what I keep remembering for some reason. I don't think that's that good. I'm going to go C3. I don't quite remember the line. There's some reason to go C4 that the engine always recommends. And um, I'm kind of spacing on that at the moment, but that's okay. I need to get better about my time control this game too. I'm kind of playing slow. A4, but then he just... Then he just takes the bishop out. I don't quite want to go a4. I'm imagining h5 next. Maybe I just pin his knight here. I like the knight pin. I'm going to go for the knight pin if he... Okay, that's fine. So g7 was just weakened quite a bit. Wonder. Can't, can't I win a pawn on c5 if I take here? I believe I win the pawn, but then I'd stack my pawns. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm going to try it. It's a bit unfortunate, but it does win a pawn. I don't know how much damage his pawn was really going to cause there. But a pawn is a pawn. I just need to remember that I have a really um, 
weak B pawn here at this point. Um, and I will take um, I will take two pawns for the price of one. I imagine he's going to take his queen out next. I wonder if there's another way that I can defend this. E pawn's going to be really weak. I'm probably going to be forced to go like queen b3 after this. After, I'm guessing he's going to retake with his queen. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. Okay, so he opens up the file for his rook. If I go a4, his bishop can just block in. So I kind of want to focus on just getting my bishop out at this point. I'd almost be okay to just trade off bishops, to tell you the truth. I didn't quite get my knight e5 idea going. I think it was worth the extra pawn, though. Or I think it was worth winning the pawn. Okay. So it looks like he saw that coming. Maybe I go something like queen b3, bishop a5, and then start to pressure his bishop. See what other moves we can make in the meantime. Maybe I just play it safe. Go something like bishop e2 or bishop d3. I don't really want to block the queen in. I don't know how much it matters. I'll play a safe move. I need to remember that this bishop is uh, kind of weak with just the queen defending it. He doesn't have any loose pieces. His only real loose piece is his rook here, but he could fix that easily. I'll probably be looking to castle soon. I think what he's going to look for is b4, uh, hoping to add some pressure to these two pawns here. So I believe I will be forced to protect b2. I'm kind of tempted to go b4. Yeah, I guess c3 is already defended by the knight, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Mm. There's also like queen e2. Castling's pretty important, but uh, I just don't know. Uh, maybe I just push a pawn up. And I just want to add another defender to b2. I do want a castle as well, though. Let me think about this. I know this might look weird, but I just want the queen 
to protect the green squares here, since I feel like that's where the pressure is going to come in because of this bishop on the diagonal here. I just want to get the queen off of the white square. Uh, I know I kind of blocked my knight in here. I'm kind of hoping he pushes. Um, I'm almost tempted to just let him have this pawn. I think he's going to start pressuring the open file with his queen too. Yeah, my knights are uh, in really bad positions. I'm almost tempted to go knight a3. It's an idea. E4. I'm going to play it safe. I've been wanting to castle. We're already kind of way past move 10. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and castle already. This diagonal is just generally really weak for me right now. Um, so I need to focus on fixing that. I really need to pressure his bishop on f6 here. I feel like that's my biggest problem at the moment. He castles too. I'd like to move my queen over to... Yeah, the queen moves have kind of been a waste. Um, I, I really want my knight to breathe here. So... Man, I really like a3, though. Let's think about this. a3, push, takes. He still can't take the pawn. Uh, but if he pushes, I imagine he'll go something like b8. And I really want my knight on d2, though. That's the thing. I know this looks odd. I kind of wasted a tempo with the queen move there. But I just want to um, see if I can win this pawn here. Uh, I imagine he'll back this up with a rook or a queen on uh, b8 or e8. Or, yeah, probably rook b8, I imagine. I could also try to put my knight on d4 as well. I just don't really know what the follow-up move after that would be. Oh, I suppose that would add more pressure to b5. Hmm. Maybe I should have done that instead. <clears throat> add another attacker to b5. He might have to go something like knight c7. To add some more defense there. This is quite protected. Yeah, d4 is pretty protected, so I'm not too worried about his uh, his bishop play here. And uh, more importantly, I really need to get the knight out onto d3. That does block some defense. On or that basically blocks the queen from defending b2 though, which I need to keep in mind. So he really only has two defenders here. Okay. Okay. So. This should just be an even trade. 
I'm I'm kind of more tempted to just let him take. I, I'm I'm I, I want him to take. Uh, the uh, the the knight is defending c3. This should just win me a knight. I don't think he's gonna come in. There's probably some miscalculation that's gonna happen. I'm really hoping that I don't miscalculate this and lose a rook with his to his bishop here. But I think this is okay. I'm worried if he takes here. He's gonna have two attackers. On B2. He's gonna have the pawn and the queen attacking B2. Um, I only have one. So I almost have to push up here at this point. I could take, but then let's see. No, this is actually good because B2 is still defended by the queen. Yeah, this is actually good. I could also just plain take with the pawn as well, but I'd rather just develop the knight, right? I'd rather just develop the knight. He still can't take the bishop, queen's defending. Uh, queen's defending b2. I'm kind of just doing like a sanity check here, making sure I'm just not missing anything. c3 is hanging here. We're not hanging, but it's going to be loose. So I may need to scoop my queen over to d2 after this. But I think this is fine. I always have rook b1 next, putting the rook on the same file as his queen as well. Oh, that was a blunder, I think. Am I missing something? I mean, he wins a bishop, but I win a, I win a queen here, right? I, I don't know if I'm missing something here. I don't want to make like an irrational move here. Yeah, he wins the bishop. Okay. Think about this. Defended, not doing anything. After he retakes, I have the fork here as well. I'll probably have to defend with the bishop on c8. I don't know. Seems crazy not to take. Yeah, okay. Yeah, GG. Um, interesting game. Very interesting game. I'm really surprised that the engine didn't call that a blunder. Um, let's just, yeah, let's, let's look through the, the moves. I liked, I liked a uh, bishop g5. I liked the pin. I also really just liked this move because it sort of forced his bishop to play on this diagonal. And um, this is kind of where all the action was. So he never really had a good chance to move his uh, bishop back to something like e7. And also, this won me a pawn, which I feel like this pawn move here sort of turned the game, if you will. Yeah, so I got two pawns for the price of one there. So, so that was good. My main problem was in this game was that I developed my knight really late. I just got really lucky that I could recapture a piece on c3 there uh, with the knight. That was just really lucky. I was debating between e2 and d3 here. Looks like the engine likes this. Castling. Yeah, if I could go back and do anything, I would have just moved the queen to e2 here. I, I wasted a move going to d3, uh, d2 and then e2. 
looks like the engine liked A3 as well. Sort of just adding pressure uh, over here to B5. I kind of just want to play this out. I'm kind of curious myself. Oh, no, he couldn't do that because that was defended by the queen. So even if he wanted to take this pawn, he couldn't. This is one of those rare instances where a knight on the rim was okay. Um, I was trying to follow the sort of good chess principles and not put the knight on the rim. But I think just the fact that he had a pawn on b5 and he didn't have much support for that pawn it would have been okay and then b2 was protected with the queen so probably would have been okay yeah this was a blunder yeah this was a nice find um unfortunately he didn't have anything else defending this pawn besides his rook so that would have been a free rook otherwise I'm curious to see what would have happened if I had taken with the pawn here. Yeah, so it's an inaccuracy. So developing the knight was a much better move here. I can't believe this is not a blunder and just an inaccuracy. I'm, I'm just really surprised that the engine says that. Uh, let's go back to this one. Yeah, okay, that's what I expected. My next move was going to be b7. Um, I kind of saw him playing uh, c8 next to defend this rook. That's kind of how I saw this game playing out. And then after that, who knows? Queen b2. Oh, sure, just fall back. Gotcha. Okay. Well, yeah, good game. It's a bit of a short one. Uh, went a little bit uh, shorter than I had hoped. 17-move uh, game. But, um, yeah, I played kind of slow this game. But I wanted to make sure that I was just covering all my moves and just really double-checking everything before making any irrational moves and really scanning the whole board. Because, uh, as we all know, that's what's gotten me into trouble before. So. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.